Hey everybody, welcome back to uh, Grace Cast. I know it's been a while since uh, Blaine and I have sat down and recorded an episode, um, but unfortunately, we actually have some bad news to share. Blaine, do you want to? I don't know if I can do this. Do yes, wanna... uh, uh, Grace Cast is no more. We're shutting down the show. Bummer. But the good news is, is that we're actually starting a new season, and the uh, show is going to go on under a new name called Food Chain Wars. Um, Blaine, you want to share a little bit of the reasons that's going into uh, the name change for us? Well, I mean, being in the food business, it's a it's an all out war to stay competitive, um, and, and that's that's literally what we want to basically present the show as. Yeah, and we wanted to help make sure everyone understood too that you know, and Blaine and I, when we sit down, it does take time to to do the show, um, but. Uh, you know, we do enjoy it and it's something that we think we'll continue to do for a while. So, um, we want to make, even just tie that away from, you know, we're not always talking about grace cart stuff and grace cast kind of yeah. had that, you know, it was like a marriage between the two things. So I think this will make it a little more clear for us for what kind of content that we're going to talk about on the show. And we really want that content to evolve from you guys and what you want to hear. So we've done a lot of digging into the data of what were the most popular episodes from, uh, the last season. We're using that to kind of drive the content. Uh, that we're going to produce for the next season here. So actually, if you go to foodchainwars.com, we're launching the show with a website, and there's a very neat feature on there where you can actually leave us a voice message. So if you go on there, you can leave the voice message to either suggest an episode topic, let us know what your questions are. But after digging into the data of what was popular for you know the last season, Blaine, we're, what we're going to do is we're going to be keep the show much more focused around some centralized topics and yeah. try to increase the number of guests that we get on the show who are true industry. I don't know. I call them superstars. They're in the war. Yeah. There are people that are in the war. There's names that you've heard, you know, some of these guys that we've already reached out to and it's already planned for them to uh, come on some other people. It's a little bit of aspirational for us. Um, but you know, we got Paul Greaves. We'd love to get Will Harris back on before that episode was super popular. Get Joel Salatin on the show. We even want to see if we can dig into some of the, I don't know, um, you know, competitors or anti heroes who are inside of this industry as well. So, um, you know, we've talked about see, Hey, how cool would it be if we could get butcher shop, uh, butcher box on this show? Yeah. Uh, yeah. To ask them some tough questions. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, that's like, it would be something to where those are conversations that we're interested to have. And we know that if you're listening to this, you're likely interested to hear as well. So we've got quite the, the guest hit list. And if there's someone that you want to make sure that we get onto this show, uh, drop it in a voice message, send us an email on that website and we'll be sure to um, evaluate that um, as well. And that, what, got, I was going to ask you, what are some of the themes, just to give a preview, Brooks, um, the themes that we will be diving into kind of uh, uh, consistent episodes around? Yeah, so the superstar interviews, that's a big change. We're also going to create more series and themes. We did this a couple of times in the last season, but we want to do a little bit more of these where we can bucket certain episodes, certain type of context into an uh, overall arching theme. So a couple of those that we're going to do is uh, revenue cheat codes. I think this is probably my favorite one, but this is going to be a theme around what are some really simple, easy things that you can do, basically low hanging fruit strategies that you can basically just turn on. And we have a high degree of confidence. If you have a similar business to Seven Sons, you're selling online, it's going to produce revenue. Uh, an ROI for you. So high degree of confidence on the overall impact. Uh, Don't Screw Up is another series there. Um, I love that one too. That one's basically, those are the big things inside of your business that if you neglect or you just don't enjoy to do, um, they're going to cause massive problems. Yeah, they will catch up to you. So cash flow is That's a big one. That's one where Seven Sons is going to share some of the big ones that happened to us. So that way, hopefully, you can avoid them. Yeah, those are basically all the mistakes and tuition that oopsie we've paid, mo- oopsie moments. paid over the years. Yeah. Uh, Road to Seven Figures, this is going to be really fun. What we're going to do is with the Grace Cart platform, we're going to actually follow up in some interviews and talk to some people who have uh, built seven-figure businesses and they're selling that much through the platform. Have them come on, share their story, and what are the key things that led to getting them- The pivotal moments, yeah. Yes, to that point. And on top of that, uh, Seven Sons, we're crossing over into the eight-figure realm. Uh, We hit it once, uh, one year with COVID, uh, had a little bit of a backtrack, but we're back to it. And what we wanted to do is we wanted to take a, uh, just a chance to be able to, I don't know, take, I think there's three or four episodes where we're going to go and talk through what are the biggest aha moments, uh, biggest mistakes, most pivotal uh, key hires and people that we added to the business that got and led us to that. Egg, yeah, egg it's like moment. if you look at a kind of a revenue chart over the years, the big bumps that went up, what caused those to happen? And then what were some of the things that caused maybe some revenue uh, dips to happen? So. Yeah, you know, because we, we talk a lot about the strategies that we're learning on the show, but you know, I don't think it's that often 
or even ever that we've gone through and told the whole Seven Sons story. How did things start? Yeah. What were kind of some the lows, of the big milestones? Lows and the highs. Yep. Lows and highs. We have a versus episode where we're going to compare two different strategies head to head against each other and share what is our opinion on uh, which one is has more impact and higher uh, opportunity for you. So a good example of that would be uh, wholesale versus retail. Those sales channels. Where do you want to focus your business? Or, Instagram versus Facebook, or shipping versus pickup locations. Those types of uh, common decisions and roadblocks or forks that people have to decide. Where do I want to focus? Uh, we're going to try to help you make those decisions a little bit easier. Um, I know we talked about doing some like e-commerce website teardowns. Where if you're interested, uh, leave us a voicemail or send us a link to your website. And uh, this might be more of a video episode, but we'll walk through and actually break down. Look at your website, look at your online store, and what are some of the biggest changes that we would recommend making that would lead to the most overall revenue and the lowest hanging fruit? And if we do that together, I think it might be something that, of course, it's a value for you. If you submit your uh, your website to us, you're opening yourself up to, obviously, the whole world seeing us just take jabs at it. But um, also just, I know anytime I hear people talk through or do a breakdown, an expert in the industry, a coach of a business that's similar to mine, uh, I get a lot of inspired ideas from that as well. So those are a few of the themes that we have planned out. If you have an idea for a theme with a fun name that we can uh, put around it, be sure to submit that uh, to us as well. Blaine, is there a theme that you're most excited about uh, with this new season? Um, honestly, I love the the, the don't screw ups theme uh, just because I think it's we're going to cover simple things that so many folks, if they're new to this um, or going down the same path that w that we've been going out seven sons i just love the it's very fulfilling to be able to share those uh those mistakes and to see others be able to avoid those cool all right well we have a big guest list we obviously have some things we've gone through blaine and i've been recording some episodes ahead of time to try to get ahead and increase our chances of uh, not missing an episode and having a gap in here we're super excited for uh, the new season we planned out New layout and office setup if you're watching on video as well. Got the um, shark. Got yep. the shark up there. Um, that was a fun trip. Shout out to the Marksbury guys. But we really appreciate the uh, those of you who have been uh, reaching out, wondering where the show's at, if it's going to continue. The answer is yes. Um, we're super excited about uh, you know this uh, show, and it, we're, it's really a learning experience for us because we're learning things from you, the listeners who are clients using the software. We're obviously learning things in our business and giving us the opportunity to break those down and talk about them helps kind of even submit those yes, in mind for us. Yes. Um, so it's been fun. Really appreciate you guys uh, following along. Be sure to drop us a voicemail on the website and uh, be watching for the first episode to drop of season two, Food Chain Wars, soon.